biggest takeaway, Nate, that for, you came up with? Well, I'm looking at Kansas City and uh, all of the – the different skill players that catch the ball out there. You have Anthony Sherman, Demetrius Harris, Demarcus Robinson, Spencer Ware, Chris Conley, Watkins, Tyreek Hill, Kelsey, and Kareem Hunt, who we know as the leading rusher last season, but this season he's doing it on the ground and in the air. And for me, this stands out. And with all those guys I named, being here in New York, it's almost fitting. It's, it's like going to a concert and seeing Wu-Tang. You got a whole bunch of members. Everybody's doing damage. Everybody's picking up the mic and it's rocking the mic. I'm there for Ghostface. And listen, and, and here's the thing. You know, Kareem Hunt is going to catch the ball in the backfield, whether it's a flip, push, pass in front of him, whether it's a screenplay. He's going to rush just like we're seeing here. But I can't help but to think, with this offense, the way they pass the ball, pass rules everything around me. Kareem, Kareem Hunt. <laughs> awesome. Get the money and score these TDs, y'all. So for me, I'm looking at this offense, and I can appreciate it because – they're doing it with so many different individuals, along with Eric bien Andy Reid, and how they're calling this game every single week, making it easy for their quarterback. It's not just saying, all right, Pat, you got a strong arm, deliver it to your weapons. I need you to go out there and hit Tyreek Hill. They're making it easy on them with the play calling and the game plan with all these guys they're playing with. Awesome offense. I don't see these guys slowing down at all. Yeah, Peter. It's funny because we're talking about Breeze. We're talking about Goff. These guys are all awesome. The quarterbacks right now might be better than we've ever seen, and I love the Elway Marino era, but the quarterbacks play such a level that yesterday Mahomes threw for 375 yards and three touchdowns, and it's kind of like, Crickets. all right, it's 830. I guess we'll talk, Patrick. Like, He's amazing. He's sensational. You're, and we're true. numb to You're it already? Right. I think we're almost numb to it. He's putting up yeah, numbers yeah. now Call that, me are, yeah, that are historic numbers. The best 10 games to ever start a career. He's got all the stats. And I want to show you this, this right here because Alex Smith is a very good, competent quarterback and got the Chiefs pretty far. This is Alex Smith for the entire 2017 season on the right side. That is Mahomes for just the first nine wow. games. Like, look at the touchdown passes at the bottom there. He has thrown more touchdown passes than Alex Smith did all last year. And Alex Smith Great was playing year. at an MVP level last Great year. year. He was throwing downfield last year. He was year. throwing downfield. Mahomes has already surpassed that. So, Crazy. yeah, am I a cheerleader? Maybe. Do I, like, go nuts on Mahomes and I get slack for it? Yes. But maybe it's warranted. Like, yeah. what he's doing is historic, and I feel like we're not even talking no about it this about morning. It, right? Ain't no maybe about right. it. Ain't no maybe about it. And Brian Westbrook, who obviously played for Andy Reid yesterday, was telling me about the patience that it must have taken Andy Reid to know what he had sitting on the bench, wanting him to sit there and absorb that knowledge from Alex Smith. It was very weird to watch on two different screens what Alex Smith was not doing for yeah. the Redskins against the Falcons and what Patrick Mahomes was doing like clockwork, as you know, as talented as he is up here, too. Masterclass yeah. that they've run on their roster and their moves and the draft is amazing. What's well, playing out on Sunday. What you got?